What's up everybody, Viper here. Today we got a bug fix. This is to fix the uh, copper wire quest that Rachel screws up when you do her uh, her little uh, compass quest. So Rusin on uh, Steam forums actually came up with this, this, uh, this fix. And it took me probably about an hour and a half, two hours to actually figure out what he's talking about because I have no clue about uh, computers and editing files and all this other mess. So it took me quite a bit of time and uh, I figured I'd go ahead and do a video just to kind of explain it a little bit more. But uh, he was, uh, he definitely did all the work in figuring this out. So this, this the credit goes to uh, Rusin on uh, Steam. So here I've got the, the, the compass quest done. And if I go into my workbench, I cannot make the wire. So we're going to go down here real quick to the elevator, just so I can show you it's not uh, not fixed. Alright, finally over here. And you can see the wire is not fixed. It's not working. Click the button. Nothing, nothing works. So let me get back out of here. Alright, back here. Day 233 at 15 something. I just went ahead and just loaded that same save. And then we're going to go. When you fix this bug, so you can do these quests, it's got an added benefit of uh, respawning in all the loot. So let me go to the city real quick. Um, just so you can see there's no loot over there. All right, there should be an engine in the back of that truck right there. And then down here, All right, in here there should be uh, no loot. Alright, there's nothing in here right now. So, I'm just going to quit out the game, because it's still are the same save. And I'm just going to go ahead and quit the desktop, because there's some stuff we got to do. Alright, first thing we got to do is find our, our missed save file. And if you go into your, your file explorer, I'm going to put this address in the description below. So you can just copy it, and then paste it into this quick access and then hit enter and it'll take you to where your uh, your missed save file is it'll have your name which I'm gonna edit out and then app data local miss survival saved and save games this is the quickest way I know of uh, to find your save file so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little folder on your desktop or somewhere and you're gonna copy this and you're gonna put in your backup file that way, if something screws up, you can have your, you know, you're not going to lose your save. Because this took me quite a bit of time trying this out to uh, figure out what the hell was going on. That Rusin recommended. When I first looked at this, I tried to do this in Notepad, just regular Notepad, not seeing this plus plus, and I was just screwing up the file, and it was completely like jacked, like I had to, I had to actually. Control Alt Delete just to get out of the 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 game because it gave me the white screen of death. So you need Notepad plus plus. Maybe another hex editor might work. I don't know, but this one does work. All right. So now that you have your file backed up, we're gonna go ahead and get into this Notepad plus plus. This is a program, and you could just go into uh, Google and search for it. And then I just picked the uh, the top the top site notepad++.org, and that's where I actually download it from. Now you can go ahead and search is Notepad++ safe? Um, I couldn't find anything saying it wasn't. So that's this is on you if you want to download this, but this does work, and I haven't had any issues yet with it. So you go to downloads. I just went ahead and got the the newest one, Stand with Hong Kong, whatever. 
and then I went down and I went to the 64-bit uh, one and I hit the installer it downloaded it I installed it and once it's installed you'll have a little icon you'll hit it and then you're gonna go to file and then you're gonna open now this is where you're also gonna need to uh, paste in that same thing from earlier this uh, local local app data miss survival save games so copy this so after you copied it you're gonna just click on this so you can select the whole you know get it all blue and then right click and hit paste and then hit enter and it should bring up your miss save file this is the file we're gonna edit it's the one that actually is more than one kilobyte several several megabytes so we're gonna go into this now you're gonna have a bunch of crap in here that I don't have no idea what it is but you just hit control and F it'll bring up a search file and then we're gonna search for quest track data struct struct and I'll have that in the description as below as well then you hit find next and then you can close this out so we have this and we're gonna look we're basically gonna click, click this and then hold shift and we're looking for a quest reward unlock item ID 48 this thing right here so we're gonna just click all the way down and we want to delete all of this stuff once it's highlighted so everything here is highlighted we're gonna hit delete and then we're just gonna hit save now we're just gonna close out of that now that file in your save game has been edited this one in backup has not so if something happens you can always just take this stuff the the, the save in this folder and put it back in that one so now we're gonna hit start up the game and then hit continue alright so now I'm back in the game if you did everything right you should uh, if you hold tab you'll lose your little uh, your compass reading and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save it here uh, this may be an extra step I don't know if you need to do this or not but I'm gonna do it and save it I'm gonna quit the game and then uh, restart it back Alright, now we're going to go ahead and see if uh, the loot has respawned. So I'm just going to get on my little magic cabinet. And we're going to go for a ride over to the city. As you can see, it's that same day and about the same time. And we're going to search that... Uh, that back of that truck and this building here now there's all right the engines in the back of this truck so that's good there's madness in here so I gotta be kind of careful real quick all right and all the loot back in this room is here So that's pretty much what you got to do to get your loot to respawn back in the game. If you want to do the, the quest, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you that right now. Let me go ahead and load back the game. And then continue. I'm not changing no kind of files or nothing. Alright, we're going to go down in into the, uh, the mine and uh, get this quest. Alright, finally we're almost here. A little light on so we can see. Now I got the quest. So let's go ahead and uh, how many of these have I got? One, two, nice. I'm gonna put both those in there. Now we gotta get back out of here and actually go do it. So give me a minute. Alright, we're finally getting out of the mine. 
Now Scott's got a little quest marker above him. Oh, come on, Scott. All right, we're going to talk to him. Looking for me? Yes, I am. Fix the old wires. Thanks. Just bring me two copper ingots, two metal scraps, and two component boxes. Okay. Rusin was very specific about when you give them the stuff to make sure you give it to them uh, when it's not stacked. So I haven't really tried it um, of why we're doing this, but just to be safe side, just go ahead and take everything out and single it out. All right, we got the stuff we need to give them. Scott, talk. Tell me what you need. I got the stuff. Hand over the stuff. He's got it. Now it'll come up and say that crafting certain items. But we go into the workbench, and now we have our copper wire. So finally, I can make this stupid thing. All right, grab that. Craft it. All right, now we got our wire so we can fix our stupid uh, elevator. Let me go ahead and run back down there and do that. All right, last time down here at the elevator. So we're going to go ahead and proceed to fix this. Go ahead and cancel because you need your uh, little bit of duct tape and your wire. We got it fixed. Turn it back on. Let's go ahead and call the elevator. Well, maybe I gotta fix this stupid uh, generator. Oh, that works. Alright, I guess you gotta have the generator on, and hopefully, there's a little. Uh, thing here to turn it on. But here comes the uh, elevator. The elevator's working. It's been so long since I've done that quest that I, I couldn't remember to turn the damn generator on. Alright, so now the, uh, the elevator's fixed. If you want to get your uh, compass back, she doesn't have the quest to do anymore. But all you got to do is have a, uh, where's the screwdriver at? I got a screwdriver somewhere. There it is. All you got to do is get a screwdriver. And then go into your gears. Click this. And then hit proceed. Because you still have uh, the ability to do it. So now my quest, or my compass is working. The generator's working. And... Plus, all the uh, the loot on the map is respawned. Now, I don't know if there's any unintended consequences from this, so do this at your own risk. But if you want to have the the elevator working, then this is pretty much what you're going to have to do till the uh, the dev fix it, fixes the uh, the quest system, because they're interfering with each other right now and they're just just screwed up. So, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.